What's up guys, welcome to the video. So what is that delicious pizza that you just saw? Believe it or not, this is Trader Joe's frozen barbecue chicken pizza. Um, it looks amazing, it tastes amazing. I haven't had this in a long time. I honestly completely forgot about it. Um, in my opinion, this is just as good as Blaze. Um, if you've never been to like CPK, it's just as good as CPK. Um, here we go, I cut it off with the slices. Let's take the first bite. Wow. Yeah, so this piece of by Trader Joe's, it's pretty good. Like I said, I forgot about it. And also, Blaze Pizza opened up like around the same time I stopped eating this. And I mean, it's about the same price, and it's always just easier to pick it up from Blaze since they're both really good. Blaze is across the street. But I saw this at Trader Joe's the other day, and I completely just like, I'm like, oh wow, I haven't had this in so long. So I picked it up made it today. It's amazing. If you have Trader Joe's Bayou, I recommend it. All their frozen pizza is good in my opinion. This one's my favorite. So just thought I would show you this and uh, let's get to the rest of the video. What is going on everyone? Welcome to my latest upper strength day. Uh, real quick, I should mention that pizza that you just saw me eat. There's nothing macro friendly about that pizza. It just simply tastes good. Trader Joe's does have some stuff that's like very macro friendly. That's not one of them. <laughs> it actually has like 117 carbs, 39 fat, and 57 protein for the whole thing. It's not awful, but don't think that I was eating that for some kind of like macro hack or whatever. It's, it's nothing special, but it does taste good. Uh, so here, upper strength day, uh, this workout on bench, I am doing five reps. And a lot of people have uh, mentioned to me, hey, I've noticed that you're benching less weight now uh, than you did like a few months ago. Uh, so the reason for that is you have to keep in mind when you're lifting, you are not going to linearly, ooh, wait, I said that word right. You're not going to linearly get stronger forever. What's going to happen is you'll get stronger you'll, and you'll eventually hit a point where either strength comes to a very, very uh, slow rate of gain. You might stop gaining strength altogether or it might start actually going backwards and you'll get weaker. So what was happening was I was getting to a point where Given my training experience, the fact that I'm not really trying to necessarily get bigger, I reached a point where I wasn't really gaining strength, but I still wanted to increase my lifts, so my form was getting worse, and I felt like I was just lifting sloppy, like I was getting sloppy, and I was just going to hurt myself. So when I switched over from my last routine to this new upper-lower split, I just decided that while I switch, we're going to reset all the maxes, and I'm going to start building my strength up from, like... A lower amount again because you don't have to max that every workout to get stronger you get stronger by lifting sub maximal weights over time and that's what i'm doing so i'm really in no rush to get stronger i'm fine where i am so i'm just that's what i am doing um another question i get is because i used to not split up my strength and my hypertrophy days and i would deadlift and squat on the same day I'm sorry, I used to deadlift and squat on different days, and now I deadlift and squat on the same day. And people are asking, like, one, what do I like better? And two, is one necessarily better? So what do I like better? It really depends. They both have pros and cons. The thing I liked about doing them both uh, separately was that you really get to focus on squat one day, deadlifts on the other day. So now I'm deadlifting right after squat. So I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I get to deadlifts, I don't really want to be doing them. My back is already a little bit fatigued. Mentally, I'm just not in the zone as much because I just squatted. And I'm definitely weaker on deadlifts now than when I did them fresh. So it was nice to be able to focus only on deadlifts. The thing I like about doing them together on the same day is that you get it out of the way altogether. So now instead of having to deadlift in the middle of the week, you could make that day a pure hypertrophy day and not have to worry about lifting anything heavy. Um, in terms of what's better, having a strength day, having a hypertrophy day, or just doing them like together in one workout, I wouldn't necessarily say one is better than the other. Uh, I have done both. I would say that for most people, I'd probably recommend doing them separately. So starting having strength days and then having hypertrophy days. It's just easier to get your mind right knowing that all you're going to be doing is lifting heavy for a workout. And then later in the week, all you're going to be doing is lifting lighter. When you try to combine them, it, it gets a little tricky because the, the heavy stuff takes a while to warm up for. So by the time you're done with that lift, now a lot of time has already passed and now you still have to do a whole hypertrophy workout afterwards. So I do think it works better for most people in terms of the mindset going into the workout to split them up. But in terms of what will give you better results, 
I don't think it really matters in, in terms of results. I think what matters more is how you set up that particular workout and your routine more so than if you're just doing hypertrophy and strength together or separately. What I mean is that one person might do strength separate from their hypertrophy days, but their workout might be terrible. They might be choosing awful exercises. They might be, they, they might, they might, their approach to their workout might be incorrect. And then someone might be doing strength and hypertrophy in one workout, but their setup is much better. So the person with the better setup on their routine, regardless of how they're actually splitting up their days, is going to probably get better results than the person that's just splitting it up a different way. So I'd say do what you like better. For most people, I'd probably recommend having strength days, having hypertrophy days, and not combining it. If you are on 5-3-1, though, it, you really need to combine them in one workout. It doesn't really lend itself very well to splitting it up. Um, but that's really my opinion, and you really should try what you like best and do what you enjoy the most because, like I always say, it doesn't matter if you're following the most optimal routine in the world because if you hate doing it, you're not going to stick with it. You're not going to enjoy the process, and the truth is the process of this whole fitness thing, that's really where the fun comes in. Uh, you'll eventually reach your goals physique-wise, but it's the journey that you're going to look back on and really appreciate, not the, not the end result. So uh, that's basically it. I showed you the whole workout. I didn't discuss the sets and reps, but it was mostly, it was uh, five sets pull-ups, four sets bench. Everything else was basically three sets. Um, and that's, that's, that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.